inverse trig worksheet solutions. I jotted down a few notes here. First of all, our unit circle, um, and I labeled the points in the first quadrant. Um, and then these key, these three key facts up top concerning inverse trig functions, that arc cosine is always between zero and pi. That is, the range of arc cosine is from zero up to pi, whereas the range of arc sine is from negative pi over two to pi over two. And similarly with uh, arc tangent. So those facts I'll refer to over and over as I'm going through and answering these questions. First one asks me, what's the arc sine of root two over two? So what it's asking me for is what angle has a sine of root two over two? So the y coordinate on my unit circle, when is it root two over two? Well, it looks like right here, but also right here, either of those two facts. However, my answer is this one because this is the only point on my unit circle that is between negative pi over two and pi over two. So I must be talking about this point right here, this point right here, the angle that got me there would be pi over four. Uh, arc cosine of root three over two. So same basic logic, I want the x coordinate to be root three over two, that happens right here, and also in other places, right here for example, but I need it to be between zero and pi, so I'm talking about this point right here, my answer is pi over six. Arc cosine of negative one half, Okay, so where's the x-coordinate negative one-half? That looks like uh, right here the x-coordinate is negative one-half. Also here, but to be in the proper quadrant to make sure that arc cosine is between zero and pi. I must be talking about this point. This point right here is two pi over three. Uh, arc sine of negative root three over two. So where's the y-coordinate equal to negative root three over two? That's right here and over here, but I must be talking about this point because arc sine has to be between negative pi over two and pi over two. So the measure of this angle right here is negative pi over three. Uh, arc tangent of root three, that one's a little bit tricky. Um, what I need is, one way you can think about it, this is asking you the question, what angle, when I take the tangent of that angle, do I get root three as the answer? Well, the tangent you can kind of think of as the slope. And so the slope of the diagonal right here is 1. And root 3 is greater than 1, so I must be talking about this slope right here. Um, and in order for it to be positive, I must be up here. The answer must be pi over 3. I'll justify that a little bit more. I'll say note tangent of pi over 3 is equal to sine of pi over 3 over cosine of pi over 3. I can even write that. And all this work is kind of based on the assumption that you don't have the tangent values memorized, but maybe you do with sine and cosine. Sine of pi over three is the y coordinate right here, which is root three over two. Cosine of pi over three is one half, the x coordinate right here. And root three over two divided by one half is equal to root three. Um, arc tangent of negative one, that's gonna be this point right here, which happens at negative pi over four is the angle. The tangent of negative pi over four would ask me what's the tangent of this point right here. The y coordinate and the x coordinate are the same except that the y coordinate is negative. So uh, therefore when I divide them, I get negative one. That's that answer there. Okay, these get a little bit more challenging. Um, this is asking me what is the sine of the arc sine of root two over five? Well, it turns out that this one in particular is kind of easy, it's just root two over five. And you might take issue with that. You might be like, wait a minute, root two over five, that's not a point on my unit circle, but that's okay. Sine and arc sine cancel each other out. Wait, does that always happen? No, that only happens when uh, the inverse trig function is on the inside here. And these match up really nicely. So sine of arc sine of anything would just be that anything. Maybe I'll even write that sine of arc sine of x is just equal to x. Uh, but what about over here? What if it's the cosine of the arc sine of 3 fifths? Well, here I gotta get kind of clever. There's a few ways you can do this, but the only way that we've learned it so far is to rewrite this so it kind of fits this mold over here. And so I know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is equal to one. So therefore, cosine squared x must be equal to one minus sine squared x. So cosine of x is the square root of one minus sine squared x. Yes, there should be a plus or minus, but because of the restrictions that I have on the quadrants, I don't need the plus or minus here. So cosine of any angle is equal to the square root of 
one minus the sine of that angle squared. That's what this tells me right here. So whether that angle is just the letter X or that angle is the arc sine of three fifths, for example, I can rewrite this as this. And the nice thing about what I have written here is it's the square root of, now on the inside I got sine of arc sine of three fifths. Much like I did over here, I can cancel out the sine and the arc sine and just call that three fifths. So I got one minus three fifths squared underneath my radical. Uh, three fifths is nine twenty fifths. And one minus nine twenty fifths is twenty five twenty fifths minus nine twenty fifths, which is sixteen twenty fifths. Uh, the square root of sixteen twenty six twenty fifths is four fifths, which ends up being the answer to this pretty challenging question. All right, the arc cosine of the cosine of pi over six. Well, good news is this one is a lot. Well, that's not entirely true. Um, arc cosine of cosine of x equals x if that x coordinate falls in this range. If it's between zero and pi. I got lucky, pi over six is between zero and pi. So this is just pi over six. However, over here, I'm not so lucky. Here it's asking me the arc sine of the cosine of 11 pi over six. This is not just 11 pi over six because the arc cosine of anything cannot be 11 pi over six. The arc cosine of anything has to be between zero and pi. And 11 pi over six is more than pi. So what do you do? Well, you kind of evaluate this thing from the inside out. Cosine of 11 pi over six. Can figure that out. Go up to your unit circle. 11 pi over 6. Well, this would be 12 pi over 6 because 12 6 is just 2. So 11 pi over 6, I'm talking about this point right here. And at that point right there, uh, cosine is asking for my x value. So what's the x coordinate right here? Same as the x coordinate right here, which is root 3 over 2. So this question is asking me, what's the arc cosine of root 3 over 2? I wonder if I've done that problem already. I have. Look at that arc cosine of root 3 over 2. That's pi over six, it says so right here. So this must be equal to pi over six. What's the arc cosine of the sine of pi over six? Kind of the same logic here. Um, I can't cancel these out because one says arc co this is cosine and this is sine. Um, but sine of pi over six, I can figure that out. Sine of pi over six using my unit circle is asking me for the y coordinate right here, which is one half. So this question is asking me, what's the arc cosine of one half? In other words, what angle that falls between zero and pi, when I take the cosine of it, will I get one half? Well, cosine is the x coordinate. The x coordinate right here is one half. This point right here is between zero and pi, and the angle measure of this point is pi over three. So therefore, this answer right here is pi over three. Okay, now things are getting a little ridiculous, but we can still figure this out. Um, the arc cosine, of the sine of the arc cosine of the sine of 17 pi over 6. Okay, let's see. This is equal to the arc cosine of the sine of the arc cosine of the sine of 17 pi over 6. Well, let's see. 17 pi over 6. 12 pi over 6 is a full lap around the circle. 17 pi over 6 would be 5 pi over 6 more. So that takes me right here. So 17 pi over 6 leaves me at this point on the unit circle. And the question is asking me, what's the y-coordinate right here? The y-coordinate right here is 1 half. So therefore, sine of 17 pi over 6 is just 1 half. Well, I'm not done. I now got to figure out what's the arc cosine of 1 half. I guess I should close some parentheses up there. Arc cosine of 1 half. Have I done that yet? No, almost. Okay, arc cosine of 1 half is asking me what angle measure between zero and pi has an x coordinate because it's cosine of one half. Here's the only spot where you got an x coordinate of one half in that specified range. That happens at pi over three. Oh, here we go. Arc cosine of one half equals pi over three. I guess I already knew that. So now what I gotta do is figure out what's the sine of pi over three. Well, the sine of pi over 3, I'm not even going to go up to my unit circle. I got that memorized. That's root 3 over 2. Okay, so then what's the arc cosine of root 3 over 2? In other words, where 
from 0 to pi is the x coordinate equal to root 3 over 2 right here. Therefore, the answer is pi over 6. All right, the arctangent of the sine of negative pi over 4. First of all, what's the sine of negative pi over 4? Well, negative pi over 4 is this point right here. And the sine of that would be negative root 2 over 2 because the y coordinate right here is negative root 2 over 2. So this question is asking me what's the arc tangent of negative root 2 over 2. In other words, what angle between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, when I take the tan arc tangent of it, will I get this? That was a bad question. How about I change this to arc cosine? Sure. Then I'd have to change this to arc cosine. There we go. Now I can answer the question. Arc cosine of negative root 2 over 2 is asking me what angle between 0 and pi, when I take the cosine of it, will I get negative root 2 over 2? Here's where the x coordinate is negative root 2 over 2. And this right here happens at 3 pi over 4. All right, finally, this mess right here. So this question is asking me to figure out the tangent of the arc sine of something plus something plus the arc cosine of something. Uh, what goes here? Cosine of pi over 2. Well, cosine of pi over 2 is asking me what's the x-coordinate of pi over 2. Pi over 2 is straight up, and the x-coordinate right there is 0. Sine of pi over 2. The y-coordinate of pi over 2, that same point that I just referred to, is equal to 1. Uh, tangent of negative pi over 4. Okay. Uh, negative pi over 4 is right here. And the tangent of that point would be negative 1. Whoops. So I can fill in those three spots there. Uh, the arc sine of 0 plus 1 is the same as the arc sine of 1 which is asking me the question where from here, arc sine, yeah, from here to here is the sine equal to 1. Well, that's right here, which happens at pi over 2. So this is just equal to pi over 2. Arc cosine of negative 1 is asking me where from here to here is the x-coordinate equal to negative 1. Well, that's right here. And right here is pi. So really all this question is asking me for is what is the tangent of 3 pi over 2? Uh, what is the tangent of this point right here? Well, I'd be dividing by 0. Right? It would be 1 divided by 0 at this point right here. And that thing right there is undefined. So that's my answer. All right, how far are we into this? 13 minutes. Um, maybe I'll stop this here and make a second video for the second page of this worksheet.